Hello everybody, this is Steve again from 67 Music and we're fortunate enough to catch up with another excellent Irish band touring through Portland. We're at the Alberta Rose Theatre and we have Comas coming through town. Uh, one of their very first, if not their first, uh, appearance on the West Coast as a band. Um, I would like to introduce Comas. We'll start right over here. Give us your name and what you play. I'm Jackie. In this band I'm playing power running percussion and singing, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Philippe Mazur, I'm from Belgium. I do the backing, I play guitar and I sing as well. Uh, I'm Isaac Alderson, I'm originally from Chicago, um, and I play the Illin pipes and flute. I'm Ryan McCasson, I'm playing the fiddle and uh, sitting in for Aidan Burke, who's stuck in the UK right now, so subbing for the regular guy. Why don't we start a little bit with a little bit of history for our viewers who may not know about Comus. Um, you guys came together in 2003, is that right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's actually, well, the guy who's not here, Aidan Burke, he, he's a nice shooter player from London, and he was doing an album in my studio. I have a studio, a recording studio in Belgium. So he was doing an album there with me, and just uh, I invited a few people. I was a previous flood player, uh, Sylvain Bell from Brittany, and Jackie, and just to pay for a lot of expenses, everybody flying to Belgium, I organized a few gigs. I think it was like late 2002 or something. And well, we had so much fun and we decided to do that more often and make an album. And we've been playing together since. Uh, and in the recent two years, things have changed a bit. So we have a new amazing flute player and piper from the States, Mr. Isaac Alderson. And uh, normally a fiddle player is here as well, but we're very happy to have uh, Ryan with us because he's really good. So be fun tonight. You are currently or in tour of support of Charge, your latest CD, is yes. that correct? And how long has that been out? Um, it's only been out since June, June over here. It hasn't been released in Europe yet. How's that going? Is that, uh, uh, you got one other CD, self-titled Comus. Yep. Um, tell us a, bit, a little bit about the differences between the first effort and Charge. Hmm. They, they were actually very uh, very similar because the, since the whole band is spread out and we have so many different projects that we um, it's not possible for us to just get together, sit in the studio, and make an album. Oh, I see. So a lot of a lot of the tracks were done in different places, and um, I have been played with Isaac and a few other things. So we did a lot of recording in hotel rooms. <laughs> and sent them over to Philip, who has a studio, a nice studio in his house, and Philip would put it all together. And take out all the background noises. So <laughs> <laughs> Room service. <Right. laughs> Some of the tracks we did in, uh, in a studio in upstate New York, we, we did have uh, a few days when we were all able to be in the same place at the same time. Um, and that was kind of a chance for us to put together some ideas for tunes and sets of tunes. Um, <coughs> And then uh, we just we recorded the the basics for maybe two or three tracks there, and then three. Um, the rest of the work or most of the rest of the basic tracks were done in Philip's studio. I, I went over to Belgium to spend a week in the studio with Philip, and um, we recorded some basic tracks. And Jackie and I added Jackie added some stuff on his own. Then you know we did some stuff together, and uh, Aiden put his stuff down as well. I think it was recorded in at least five different states. <laughs> yeah. uh, two countries. And two, two countries, yeah. <laughs> in different states of mind. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, for sure. Would it be fair to say that that's kind of like the way to, to record in this day and age? It's kind of piecemeal with email and... Uh... More and more, actually, because well, I have recorded recording studios. So I see a lot of things, but I think most bands these days actually record separately. There's only a few bands that really come in and do everything together. Usually they're surprised how hard it is and then they start doing it all, all separately again. Yeah. So, um, so it happens more and more. Yeah. But for us there's little choice because we live so far from each other. Is it yeah. fair to say you guys are an Irish band? Or are you guys, you all, you're come from different parts of the world, right? So you, you don't really all collectively come from like Ireland or such? Yeah, a... well, I'm, I'm the only one that's actually born in Ireland. So, but uh, we primarily play Irish music. Um, we, but we all have done different things. We bring our ex 
experiences from playing other musics back into Irish music. So we, we do play primarily Irish music, but we play some of Philip's odd time signature tunes and some crazy stuff. And now that Ryan's with us, we're jumping into Scottish music. <laughs> That's good. We chose an Irish name because it's mostly will be influenced by Irish music. I think 80% of what we play is like Irish type of music, although we write a lot of tunes ourselves. Some people uh, in our audience might, uh, if they haven't seen your website, will wonder where the name come, comes from. And it's, is it not Irish Gaelic for power? It is. It is. It, it, uh, power, energy, and uh, we actually came up with that name because uh, the, the moment we were actually forming this band, that was in 2003. There was this whole thing in Irish music. Everybody was saying, Irish uh, music has to be played slow. And after uh, a while after the first uh, album of, uh, I can't think of his name, Martin now. Hayes. Martin Hayes uh, brought out this album to play really slow, West Clare style of music. And everybody said, No, Irish music has to be played slow. And we just like playing fast from time to time. So, and with a lot of energy, so we thought we'll, we'll just even with that. And, do whatever we want. How much of your material is your own versus traditionals? Um, hmm. Do you write much of your own material? Probably, I'd say probably, what you say, 50% of the tunes are probably traditional. I'd say 50% is traditional, and for the other 50%, half of that we wrote ourselves, and the other half is by friends. Uh, how about a website when people, when they do want to find out more about Comus, um, what's the official website to go to for that? Comusmusic.com. We'll have it right down here. <laughs> now, can you purchase the albums from that website? You get there's a link from there actually to like CD Baby is probably our main thing. But you can get it on iTunes and everything. So Great. You just look for Comus. There's two Comus. This one is called the Comus in America, which is a rock band. It's not us. If it's the people with the long hair, you have the wrong band. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking forward to the show tonight. Again, thanks guys for chatting with us and. Uh, letting our audience learn about Comus and uh, get a little bit broader s sense of what uh, talent can come through Portland from time to time. Okay. Welcome again to Portland. I hope you have a great day. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So once again, uh, that's uh, comusmusic.com is the website. Uh, we strongly urge you to go visit there. And uh, best of luck, guys. Thank you. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you next time.